All right, so we're nearing the top of the SEC East. Next up, we got Georgia. They'll be playing Louisville in the Belk Bowl. Okay, or, so or some people like to call the Parisian Bowl. The Parisian Bowl. Right. That's what Belk is. Formerly Parisian. Formerly Parisian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, so Georgia obviously is a, a running powerhouse. They, oh, they were this past year. They had they had Chubb, right. they had Gurley for a good portion of the season. Right. Um, they only, you know, two losses, you know, to South Carolina, Georgia Tech. Of course, they lost their their rivalry game. Mm-hmm. Lost um, to Florida. Lost we, to, we put up almost 400 yards rushing on them. That's right. A, that's right. Florida had a big a rushing huge, game, which was a huge surprise. Right. To most right. People. So the question is, or the question in my mind is, okay, their their big running attack consisted of Chubb and Gurley. So, right. you know, Chubb is a freshman, Gurley's a junior. Right. We, we figured Chubb is coming back, but what about right. Gurley? He's, you know, yeah, I, I, he's, I, he's on the teetering edge of maybe coming back one more season. Depends on what that happens with that leg. But yeah. I kind of feel like even if he does get it, he gets healthy, mm-hmm. he's going to the NFL. I mean, you know, even uh, the kid that was used to be at South Carolina, Lattimore. Lattimore yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Got he had that second time, big, big injury. Yeah. And he got yeah. himself ready. And he, I think he went in the supplemental draft. So, right, right. And, of course, he just retired just recently. But still, oh, man. you try to go. Go in and get as much money as you can. Yeah, why you can't? Right. right. Why you still now, of course, Jeremy Pruitt. The, the story for me with George is Jeremy Pruitt, who's the defensive coordinator who came from the national championship team of Florida State last this year. Guy, look at this guy. Now the DC there, and of course, Jeremy Pruitt has eaten at the table of Saban. You know, he was he used to be a. <laughs> Saban's he, got a table. Saban has a table. He's got a table. And, yeah, the yeah. table of Saban. The table. Actually, Will Muschamp has sat at the table of Saban. Saban. Um, but he, uh, he sat at the table of Saban, so they got him away from Florida State, okay. which I don't understand how, but Georgia paid him a hefty salary, mm-hmm. and so that defense is going to get better. I mean, that defense is going to turn into what Florida State was last year because they're going to be able to recruit. You know they're going to be able to recruit. Right, right. And if they can find another uh, Aaron Murray clone to mm. run that offense, mm. you know, somebody a little more consistent, because mm. I just think their QB would play was inconsistent. Anybody in Georgia? with a cloning facility, okay? You need to find <laughs> <laughs> find Murray and see if you can get some of his tissue so that, you know, you can make a copy and you guys can have a, a good two, three year stretch here the next, you know. Right. Yeah. You know, right. And I, and I kind of feel like the season. only the only guy that ever sat at the table of Saban, um, <laughs> well, actually there's two guys that sat at the table of Saban that just did not work out. It was Vince Dooley who went to Tennessee. He was right. on, the, on the early LSU staffs with uh, Nick Saban. Okay, who's and then, the second one? Uh, Sunseri, who was also, I can't remember his first name, but Sunseri was also on that 2009. He was a linebacker coach, I, I believe. You Alabama fans, make sure to tell me when I'm wrong. We but, know uh, y'all out there. And, and we know you will. Sunseri <laughs> was, uh, he was on that a- a- Alabama 2009 staff, and then he went to Dooley, and of course, that Tennessee team was just horrid. So, Everybody that sits at the table of Saban, eh, they're not always successful. Our new coach at Florida sat at the table of Saban. So he we'll, doesn't he doesn't we'll give soon, everybody equal share of the crumbs. No, the no, knowledge. he doesn't. So we'll soon find out whether the <laughs> Jim McElwain sitting at the table of Saban will help him against Georgia in 2015. So Georgia's gonna be playing in Louis uh, playing versus Louisville in the Belk Bowl. The Belk Bowl. Oh, the Formerly Parisian the Parisian, Parisian Bowl. Bowl. And that's what I'm just gonna call it. The I, Parisian. Every, every Bowl. time I walk into that store. I don't even think it's, it's Bell. It's, it's Parisian. Out of the game. <laughs>